Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what I bought from the new Wet n Wild Queen of My Heart Spring Collection. And I had been looking all over the place for this and I couldn't find it. I had been checking Walgreens and Bed Bath & Beyond and um, lots of different places and I just couldn't find it. But yet I saw so many people talking about it. So I was watching a video by Tara Baby Z and um, she was showing the products and she said that she had bought them at CVS and I was like, oh, CVS, <laughs> that's the one place that I hadn't checked. So after I watched the video, I went down to my local CVS and there was the display right there. <laughs> so it's a good thing that she posted that video because I don't know, for some reason I just, I forgot to check CVS. So I'm going to show you what I bought. I didn't buy every single piece. I bought the things that I knew I would enjoy using. There were just some things that, all right, let me, let me tell you what was in the display that I did not buy. I did not buy the Kabuki brush because I don't like Kabuki brushes. I have one and I never use it. So why would I buy their version of it? You know, I just, I don't know. I don't like the way that handle is, I don't like that there's no place to hold on to it. I mean, I understand the purpose of it, but it's just not something that I enjoy. So I didn't get that. Then they had a lip palette, which was really cute, but I'm not going to buy something just because it's cute. I want to buy something that I'm actually going to use. So they had a lip palette that was like this. It was like rectangular. Then it had little lips inside with um, lipstick. And I just knew that, you know, I, I just don't like lip palettes. And then the other thing they had was a lip and cheek tint. They had it in four, four colors, I think it was. And I was kind of looking at that, and then I was reading all the information on the display, which do that. That can be very helpful in your decision-making process. So... I, I read all the information on the display and I saw the word sheer and I said, oh, okay, so it's a sheer lip and cheek tint. So nah, I just, to me, sheer is kind of pointless. You know, if something, I want something to, I don't want to have to work too hard to make something work. So I said, nah, th that's not gonna, that's not for me. Okay, so what did I get? I did get all three of the eyeshadow palettes and I got both the highlighters. So let's start with let's start with the eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I'm going to show you is called Will You Marina Me? And let me just show you the packaging first. It's in the pretty white packaging that they have done in years past. And you get a a gold and then this middle shade is a brown and then you get like um, a teal which is kind of an unusual combination. Wet n Wild is known for putting together some pretty strange combinations and I don't always use the palette the way that it says to use it because you know they even print on there like brow bone crease eyelid. Like I would never use a gold that was that dark as a brow bone highlight. I just, I don't have the right skin tone for it, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll kind of pick and choose from these palettes and combine them with other products that I already own. So anyways, that is Will You Marina Me? So let me do some swatches. So those are the colors swatched. And yeah, now that I see that gold on my skin, maybe it wouldn't be too deep. I might be able to pull that off. In the pan, it looks darker. All right, so the next one is called Hieroglyphic Heart. And this one also has a gold brow bone highlight. And then the crease shade is um, mauve. It's a matte mauve shade, plum, plummy mauve. And then the lid shade is a brown with golden sparkles in it, so a golden brown. 
So let me swatch that one for you. So those are those three shades swatched. And again, I don't know that I would put a purpley matte shade as a crease color for a golden brown on my lid, so I'm probably not going to use these in the way that they are using them. So that's that. And then the third palette is called Heart and Heavy. And with this one you get a white slash beige brow bone highlight and you get a deep plum um, crease color and that trying to determine what finish that is um looks like it it might be like a satin i won't really know until i swatch it and then the eyelid shade is like a, i would say like a golden peach so let's swatch these and see how these looks watched. I, I like that, that lid shade, that goldeny peach color. Boy, that crease shade is deep, huh? That's a really, really deep, like, um, purpley plum shade. Okay, and that leaves us to the highlighters. Wet n Wild has become the drugstore king of highlighters. Their limited edition highlighters are amazing. And so they released two of them. There is a pink one and there is a purple one. And the pink one is called The Sweetest Bling. And it's it's a really pretty it's a really pretty pink on the outside and then it has a heart in the middle with a lighter pink. So let me try to swatch the two separate colors so you can see. All right, so there, there they are. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, and I have been playing with these and I got some good news for you. When you go down deeper, a lot of times products have like an overspray and when the overspray is gone, you lose the effect. This is not an overspray. When you go down past the surface, you continue to get this kind of luminosity. These, I understand why people run to the store and buy these and then put them on eBay for inflated prices because they are that good that I can understand why people would pay more than um, five dollars for these which you know five bucks um, they're just they're really something. Uh, okay and to me the star of this entire collection is this. This is a Lilac to Reality. And the reason why I consider this to be the star of the collection is two reasons. It is a stunningly beautiful color, but also it is unique. I mean, we've seen purple highlighters already, but not this color. So on the outside part, you get this gorgeous purple highlighter that has like a blue shift to it. And then on the inside, you get a silver heart. So I wanted to be a little adventurous with this product because this is the one I was definitely most excited about. And oh, by the way, there are only two of each color highlighters in the display. That is so cruel, wet and wild. I mean, it, so if you're not the one of the first two people to get at this display, 
there's not going to be any highlighters. So it's very discouraging. I was so fortunate to have uh, found that display. I got the last one of these that was in the display. So I'm handling this very carefully. Um, okay, so anyways, I wanted to really like make this um, useful in many ways. So what I did was I took a gray eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, and used that as a base on my eyes. I put it in the lids and in the crease and let it set for a second. And all, all my, the products that I'm wearing will be in the description box if there's something you're curious about, um, including the name of the product that I'm talking about. So I put that on my eyes, then I put the silver as my brow bone highlight, and I put the purple as my eyeshadow. So I am wearing this purple highlighter as an eyeshadow today, and I have it as my highlight. You can, you can kind of see the, um, the purple there. If I hold my head like that, you can just see the, the glow. But like when I back off and you don't get too close, it doesn't look too crazy, right? It's just like a hint of purple. And um, so this this is the product that I would most recommend from the collection. I have not tried the pink one yet, but I have pink highlighters already. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this, but this is the thing that is so unique that I think most people would enjoy having. I feel like especially when you have a large makeup collection, um, these are the kind of pieces that you want to buy because it's kind of like, um, you know, it's unique and it fills in a gap. It's something that you probably don't already have. To my knowledge, nobody has ever come out with a purple highlighter that had this much blue in it. It is about as cool toned as you can get. And it does make a really nice eyeshadow. So I think when I try out the Sweetest Bling, I think I'm just going to try doing it the same way. I think I'm going to do my eyes with it and then also use it as a face highlighter in the same look. And it just monochromatic makeup. I've talked about this before. I kind of enjoy doing that once in a while. I feel like it's really fun to try to tie in a specific um, color all together with your makeup. And it's, uh, yeah, it's fun. Okay, so that's it for today, you guys. That's what I purchased from the new Wet n Wild Queen of My Heart Spring 2017 Limited Edition Collection. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.